Hey everybody, let's talk about next year's up and coming Bill Gates. The anti-blower Gates. Yes, the supercharger experiment is over. We did this just to do it, just to try it, because we had the parts sitting around to make it happen. Uh, but now it's going away because it's slow. I mean, not super slow, just slower than needed to compete in some of the daily driver uh, classes. So uh, next year, from what I'm hearing, there is going to be a streetcar class point series at Waggler Motorsports Park. Now that's not in writing yet, so I don't know. I don't know for sure if that's happening, but um, but it's being talked about, and it's. I think it's going to be associated with uh, farm truck and Asian. So they're wanting to do a an annual thing where they come up to the track like last Friday. And uh, we run the guts out of a bunch of daily driven street car stuff and uh, just have a good time. <laughs> so a lot of you are already saying, well, this ain't no daily driver street car. No, I don't drive it daily, but I could. Uh, you know, it's plated and insured. I keep it to where I can drive it in town. I go and get ice cream, go to car shows, whatever. Uh, doesn't seem like anybody wants a street race around here anymore, so that doesn't, get, that doesn't really happen. But uh, maybe in the future. So, <clears throat> last Friday night, uh, I realized that the only things that were winning was the turbo cars and turbo trucks. There was damn diesel trucks that were, you know, 1,300 horse to the tire, and I got outrun by one of those. So, I know what the number is I need to shoot for, and that number is at a mid-six. Faster, if possible, but... Uh, you know, a 6.5 for a full weight, full interior street car. Um, it's very doable. I don't know how easy it's going to be in a car that's this old. It's just junk from front to back. The suspension's all screwed up. Uh, I don't know what it's going to take. I've never, I've never been that fast. But I watch other people go and buy these new cars and they're already like a leg up running low sevens and now they just a little bit of work and then they're mid sixes and it's just aggravating because I can't just go out and buy that. But, uh, but I can work on what I've got. Um, I was going to stop on this and to, and leave this alone to work on a Camaro, but, uh, cause I've got some third gen Camaro is just waiting on me. And, uh, but you know, um, I've already got a good rear end in this car. I've got a good transmission. Um, I don't know what it was going to take to get one of the Camaros fixed up and build a second car. So I'm going to go ahead and get this turbo engine, the new turbo engine in this car and, uh, see what happens from there. So let's talk about that engine. So this is the five, three. I don't know for those of you that haven't been keeping track. Um, as you can see, I've got a narrow belt, just a six rib belt. I'm trying to drive an M122 Eaton blower off of a GT500. It's just an old roots blower. Um, I thought I was having issues with the crank pulley. So this engine now has the crank pulley welded to the crankshaft because you got to eliminate every possibility of slip, you know, so... Uh, I did a lot of things to this engine that I probably shouldn't have, but, you know, it runs and drives and does whatever. I get in it right now and drive it down. All right. So it's a 5.3 with gap rings. Uh, it's got a small cam in, aftermarket cam. I don't even remember what it is. Something used I found online. Um, Holly High Ram, lower intake. The Tick Performance air-to-water intercooler that I don't even have plumbed up yet because I just ran out of time the gt500 blower and then the uh, lt1 camaro throttle body which is actually um, we had it on an lt1 but is also actually sold for a tune port injection car the transmission is a turbo 400 uh, it's an fti level 4 fti from summit it's been great i i love it uh the uh 
Rear end is a quick performance Ford nine inch. Um, I've added nitrous to it here in the past week and uh, it works. Um, but anyways, the new engine is gonna be a six liter. All right, it's sitting over here on the table. And uh, I've got the bottom in, I've got the crank in and whatever, but it's been sitting around all year, so I got got some work to do to clean it up, get it ready. But uh, this weekend I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna go, to, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. But this week, weekend, I'm going to start on gapping the rings, getting the bottom end finished up. I've had these parts sitting around all year, ready to go ready to put on there it's gonna look good if you can't be fast you at least look good so uh then i have this vs racing 80 millimeter uh turbo with the um, t6 housing and a 132 air ratio housing uh my arp studs finally showed up i'm glad that the people of california finally went back to work uh i haven't even checked to make sure they're the right ones but it looks like they are all right, um, oh, I thought I'd tell you this. This is kind of funny. Nobody really caught on to it. The tech guys never really looked. But this was my weight for the back of the car this year. I've been running it like this all year. So weights, if you go and buy weights, uh, if you price them right now, they're about a dollar a pound. Um, if you go to a, any farm place, I bought this at Rural King, these uh, 40 pound bags of lime are three dollars a piece so i had all that shoved in the back of the car and i don't know if it helped probably slowed me down probably what it did it probably slowed me down all right so uh i'm actually here today looking at the car to figure out how i'm gonna do the turbo setup uh originally before i had the turbo placed in between the front of the engine and the radiator and uh i can't do that this time Be and i'm just basing that off of the rules for the some of the street classes one of the races that i'm involved with or that i want to uh, take part in is the grocery getter nation race one of the rules is the core support has to be in a factory location it has to be an uncut factory core support I guess that doesn't really say that the radiator has to be in the factory spot, but I've been fighting so much with getting radiators in this car, and uh, I just decided to just leave a radiator in it that fits, and I'm just going to leave it right there. Otherwise, I'm having to move it way far forward. Uh, I'm having problems keeping this one cool as it is because that fan is an Amazon junk fan. It just doesn't hardly pull any air. And whenever this thing gets putting around town, it starts to warm up. Going down the highway, it's fine. Because, the, you know, the fan doesn't have to work. But when you get in town, or you're hot lopping the car, the thing just gets warm. So, the turbo placement is probably going to be probably right in here. But I have to make sure that I can get the turbo in it. And it's still clear the hood. I don't want the turbo sticking out of the hood. Like, how many holes am I going to cut in this hood? And if you've ever seen the hood on this car, this thing is just about had it. So, the radiator hose, I'm going to have to remake again. Uh, the lines are too long. They're, they're long because the radiator was further forward, like way up here. And I've moved it back to the factory location. So the hoses are long. This one's just almost kinked. But it's not. It's actually fine. Uh, this exhaust, thank goodness, it finally go away. The transmission cooler will move. Uh, the exhaust for the turbo is going to be a 5 inch out of the turbo. And um, I think I had it. It was a five inch pipe coming out of that fender before, but on the daily or on the grocery getter nation racing rules, one of the rules was it had to have exhaust going back the, to at least pass the 
driver's seat. That had, had to be an exhaust with a muffler. Uh, the turbo did not count as a muffler, which whatever, it's fine. Daily driven street car, if you go out and buy a turbo car right now, it's still gonna have a full exhaust with a muffler, so. That being said, I had my car where it fit the rules, but man, I hated it. Like I'm going backwards and the car is okay, but it's nothing, nothing that's winning races. We're, we are not winning races. So, uh, the accessory drives, still going to use a factory Silverado accessory drive because why not? There, I mean, if anything goes wrong, the parts are in the parts store. I can go to any local parts store if I'm at the track and buy something real quick to throw on it. Uh, you know, still using a Silverado alternator, Silverado water pump. However, I wish I could find something different here for the water pump because I had to have somebody weld an AN fitting to the top of this pump so I can't just run into a parts store and replace this. And that's not cool. So uh, I had one uh, water pump failure the, the first of the year when I went to the track, first time I went to the track this year. And uh, man, that was tough. I, I hate stupid failures like that, and everybody does. Um, but yeah. So uh, I was, was getting rid of the uh, hooker turbo manifold, but Hell, I've got it. I might as well use it uh, if I'm going to switch back to a turbo. And uh, they're okay. I like it. But, you know, I thought I'm going to leave this car alone. I'm going to put a set of headers on it. And uh, I guess I'm not now or whatever. But uh, The fuel system's got to change. I'll probably stick with the same injectors, which are a DECA 60 injector. Uh, the... Um, I feel okay about them because with this blower on it at wide open throttle, the uh, duty cycle was super low. So I've got a long ways to go yet before I max out the fuel system. But I can make some changes to help the fuel system in the meantime. Uh, I've already got two, at least two pumps in the tank. And then uh, some dash six lines running up here. But you know, I can always change all that and go bigger. Right now, I'll just turn the new engine up to where it uh, is happy. You know, I won't lean it out until I get to the first race and realize I need more power, and then I'll go ahead and lean it out. Uh, transmission, converter, I wish I could get a different stall converter for it, uh, but I won't. I don't feel like spending the money on it. Um, I'm not going to buy anything else. I've got every, everything's already bought. To make this work uh, the only things I'm really liking is the the hot side piping to go from the manifold up to the turbo so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna plumb that and I have to put the turbo in such a place that it's not going the tires not gonna rub against it so um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this there's a lot to it uh, but if you have any recommendations if you can send me any pictures anything will help uh i know there's a lot of guys out there already running an 80 millimeter turbo on g bodies if if you have any ideas you know i'm I'm always all ears uh just shoot me a picture or message anything on uh facebook messenger uh right now that let's see it's divine speed team on facebook you can shoot me a private message uh, like always, a lot of people do. Uh, I'm willing to make, you know, drastic changes. I'm really, I'm willing to think outside of the box, uh, do things way different, but I have to be able to justify it. Uh, you know, on the Camaro, I wanted as much weight on the back as I could, so. I really wanted to put that turbo on the back in the back of the car somewhere. I'm not going to do that on this car, but, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I'll try whatever the suspension on this car is absolutely trash. 
So um, I need, I really need information on how to uh, uh, get this front end to lift up. Like I really went backwards. I put a two inch drop spindle on it and I should have, I should probably put the factory spindles back on it. But I gotta figure out what springs and things like that I wanna run. Um, brakes suck on this thing. I don't know that the front brakes work at all, but I gotta get that figured out too. So, yeah, anyhow. You see it, this might be the last time you see it put together. Uh, Cause I'm taking it apart just as soon as I can get around to getting it apart. The new engine's going in it and we gotta get it figured out this winter. I wanna at least have it ready to go the first time the track opens up. So, uh, like I said, shoot me any pictures, comments, anything on the video. Uh, like I said, I'm all ears. All right, I'll talk to you later.